Yes, I finally got it. The Sonic the Hedgehog Super Pack by Jazzwares. Roll the opening. Hey guys, I'm back with another review video. And this time I will be reviewing the Sonic the Hedgehog Super Pack, which includes Super Sonic, Super Shadow, Super Silver, and all seven of the Chaos Emeralds, which is a very cool bonus for these figures. Now, just a little thing about the three and three quarter inch figures. Um, I really don't like how they package them. Um, this set is fine in particular, but for most figures, they will be bent in the package, or and when I take them out, they won't stand up. But um, for all of these, except maybe the silver, it's not m that much of a problem. Now, unfortunately, I unboxed this one off camera, but uh, let's take a look at the box right now. The first thing I'm going to say about this box is, oh my god, this thing was so hard to take out of the box. It took approximately 17 minutes for me to get this thing out of the box. It is packaged, like, so unbelievably. There's, like, little slots you gotta take out, tape galore, wires through two sheets of plastic. It is unbelievable. But once you get them out of the package, it's a really cool set. Now, you can see I, I put the plastic back in there, and behind it you can actually see a display, or not really a display, a picture of all seven of the Chaos Emeralds. And right there includes all seven Chaos Emeralds. And on the other side, the uh, little sticker thing, Toys R Us exclusive, Sonic the Hedgehog Super Pack. And then on this kind of side thing, we have some very nice Super Sonic ar artwork, and then some more the same artwork just with the uh, toy logo and then uh, on, same on that side right here we got just like the warnings and stuff and then flip it around we got very nice artwork of supersonic super shadow and super silver it is very cool and that's pretty much all the boxes oh and it um, has all of their names right there that's a cool little thing they have on the box all right, let's take a look at the Supersonic figure. Now, one little thing I want to point out about my figure. Um, pretty much all of the Supersonic figures that Jesper's released in the 3-pack had this black outline around the eyes. Well, mine actually doesn't have that. And I really like it that way because it looked kind of weird with the black outline. It made him look a lot more evil. And Sonic is not evil. So, yes, let's take him off his handy-dandy base. And pretty much all the bases are the same for any three and three quarter inch uh, figure. It's just a little Sonic Spin Dash thing with one single peg for you to put his foot on. And you can see the hole right there for the base. And the articulation is the same for all of these figures, so I'll just show it for the Supersonic. You can move his head, his waist, his arms out and up, his elbows, his wrists, his legs out and, well, yeah, out and, or up and down, his knees, and his uh, ankles. Now, I'm going to be comparing this figure to the Super Poser Sonic that Jazzwares also released. And just looking at the head sculpt, wow, this one is so much better. If you're going to get a supersonic figure, get this one. It's smaller, but it's they're pretty much around the same price, and you get two other figures along with the Chaos Emeralds. Plus, this one just doesn't look like supersonic to me. I know they just recycled the same sculpt and body for the um, normal Sonic Superposer, but still, Sonic norm or Supersonic normally doesn't grin. He's normally really serious, like this one, and it just doesn't look right to me. That's all I'm saying. So get this one, that's the bottom point, um, or the bottom line, and right here, the treads on the shoes, which Jazzwares is pretty much doing with all their Sonic figures nowadays. The spikes look phenomenal from the back, um, side, front, any way you want to angle it, it's just awesome. And yeah, it's a great uh, Sonic collectible and looks a lot like Supersonic. Um, try to find one that does not have the black, black, sorry, can't talk, the black outline around the eyes because it just doesn't look like Sonic because he doesn't have the black outline. See, it's just normal white for my figure. It probably looks best from the side, 
Um, but I display them facing outward. So, yeah. Let's move on to Super Shadow. Now, this is basically just the normal shadow painted yellow because his quills already point upward in the first place. So there's not much they could really change about, uh, change about the figure. But I did notice one thing. They did change the mouth a little bit. On the normal 3-inch shadow figure, it's like white and it looks like he's wearing white lipstick. And it's a little weird. But... Yeah, this is a pretty good figure. I'd recommend getting the super ver uh, the super shadow version because it just looks a lot better, like all bright and stuff. And that's one thing I noticed. Right when I put these uh, figures on my shelf, it was a lot brighter and they stood out much more. Um, one little thing is kind of weird. The bottom of his shoes, you know, they have the uh, rockets or the jets, I'm sorry, the jets and everything, but it's white and that's a little weird. There's the hole for the base. Um... It's just weird. And so are the uh, inside of his cuffs. They're white too. It's a little weird, but um, his quills look very nice. Um, yeah, like I said, you can't really change Shadow's quills that much since they already point upward. But um, the shoe detail on this figure in particular is just uh, phenomenal. It's just so well sculpted. And I'm pretty sure it's the same sculpt as the normal 3-inch figure of Shadow, but I haven't reviewed that one, so I thought I'd talk about this one anyways. Yeah, it just looks very nice. The uh, little uh, red ridges or whatever they are, those have great detail too, so. Very cool figure. His expression is very Shadow-like, just, um, you know, serious, um, not smiling or anything. That'd be a little weird. His eyes are... Um, very nice. His ears are a nice um, size proportion to his, to the rest of his body. And overall, it's a very good figure. Let's move on to Silver. The Silver figure is very excellent. The main reason I'm happy to get this Silver figure is because I haven't got the normal Silver 3-inch figure yet that Jazzwares has also done. So, it's good to have a silver figure, finally. The reason I haven't picked it up, I could order it online, but it's much more expensive, and I'd rather see if I can just pick it up in the store sometime. Um, I can't really compare them to the um, normal silver figure, but I can tell you that some things that I know are different than this one and the uh, normal figure. Let's take a look at his uh, head sculpt. It's very nice. His two, his two long quills point up. And um, he has this, he has the uh, fluffy thing, whatever you want to call this. It looks kind of like a weed plant, but whatever. <laughs> um, his mouth is also just a straight line, just normal, uh, showing not really so much emotion. Now, his hand sculpt is very, very good, because this is the hand sculpt you would expect to see on a silver figure, since he, you know, controls stuff with his mind and his, uh, um psychic and stuff. Well, I don't know if psychic's the right word, but you know what I'm saying. His powers and stuff. Um, let's look at his hand detail, because he has the little symbols. Um, they have changed from uh, blue-greenish to yellow to, so, to show that he's uh, changed. I haven't played Sonic 06, so I wouldn't know if they changed color in the game, but um, I'm pretty sure they did. Um, his shoe detail has changed, uh, noticeably. Um, these little circles used to be the bluish green, and they just changed to normal, um, bottom shoe color. And there's the hole for his base. But, this is a very good silver figure, and I, um, once again, I recommend picking this whole pack up because it's very cool. Um, his waist is, I don't know if you could really see it on camera, though, but his waist is pretty loose. Not loose but you can like totally see the line and everything it's like not gonna come off or anything but yeah all right last but not least let's move on to the chaos emeralds now i'm pretty sure the only chaos emeralds released with sonic figures have been these and the toy island figures but either way these ones are the best chaos emerald sculpts i have ever seen I'll be comparing him with this Chaos Emerald from Toy Island. And just a little um, fact, if you have seen my last video, you know this already, but I'm going to change from using these Chaos Emeralds to these Chaos Emeralds in Sonic Stop Motion Adventures 
just because they look so much more like the actual thing. Um, there's still go only going to be four, because that's how the show is. There's only four Chaos Emeralds in the show. And I'm going to be using the green, the blue, the um, see-through one, or uh, silver, or whatever. Um, and the this yellow one. That's more of an orange, but whatever. Alright, let's just look at the green one, because it's the most, you know, well-known, iconic Chaos Emerald out there. Um, just looking at the top, wow. Just look at the detail in this thing. It is just so nice to have a good Chaos Emerald. Um, they might be a little big compared to the actual figures themselves, but with the other figures, they're in pretty much perfect scale. And taking a look at the difference, wow. This one is much more of the uh, shape an, the Emerald is in the game. This one is just... It looks so much better with this Emerald than this one. Let's look at the actual yellows together. Um, this one... You can see, like, this one has, like... Like, it looks like it's a toy. It looks so weird inside and doesn't look like a Chaos Emerald. This one... This one looks like a Chaos Emerald. Um... Yeah, the chaos, these are just so well done overall. I'm pretty sure these are game accurate. Wasn't there the, a lighter blue one? I think that's supposed to replace the orange. But even if they're not, they're cool either way. So, let's move on to the overall. This figure set is absolutely awesome. One of the best by Jazzwares. If you have the money, you should absolutely pick it up because it's worth picking up, definitely. Now, you should probably go to the store because it's it's much more expensive online and you could examine the figure pack to make sure it's in good condition. Until next time, guys. See you later.